In this lesson, we will introduce the DC 24 volt panel. This is DC 24 volt panel. Above this panel are some meters. These meters include ammeter. The selector switch below the ammeter, which is used to switch what current is displayed. The current for the charger, or the current for number one battery, or the current for number two battery, or the current for the customer. We can see that the charging system was two sets of batteries from this switch. The second meter is an insulation meter. It is an insulation meter. If the pointer points to the red area, the current insulation is too low. The larger the insulation reading, the better. It would be infinity ideally. If you find the pointer points to the red area of the insulation meter, we should troubleshoot the failure of the insulation. The method is usually to disconnect the power supply of each device below one by one. The pointer reverts to a large value when disconnecting the corresponding device. The insulation of the equipment may be judged to be defective. The third meter is a voltmeter. The voltmeter also has a selector switch. The switch is used to switch what current is displayed. The current the charger, or the current for number one battery, or the current for number two battery, or the current for the consumer. These three indicator lights are positive and negative earth lamp and earth lamp test buttons. Below are some alarm lights. These alarms may include charger failure, battery voltage low, and insulation low alarm light. This alarm indicator will be triggered when the pointer of the insulation points to the red area. The condition of the power supply can be indicated by these three indicators. The corresponding indicator light is on when the power supply is running normally. At the bottom of the panel are the circuit breakers. The first is the incoming breaker. The charging source is connected through these circuit breakers. If this circuit breaker open, the charger cannot be charged, but it can still discharge normally. The second circuit breakers is for temporary lighting. These emergency lights are powered by a DC 24 volt power supply. Therefore, the position to be installed on the real ship should also be at the most urgent position, such as lifeboat access, near lifeboat deck, etc. The third switch is a distribution panel. It is connected to another DC 24 volt distribution panel. This is to the main switchboard. There are some controllers inside the main switchboard. The DC 24 volt power they need to work is supplied from here. This circuit breaker is used for internal communication systems. The lower two circuit breakers are used to power the emergency switchboard and the remote control system of the main engine. Two spare circuit breaker. Cargo control console circuit breaker. The last one is public address system main unit. There is also a circuit breaker with a higher current rating. This circuit breaker is supplied to the central console. There are many devices needed to supply DC 24 volt power on the centralized control console. Therefore, 
or circuit breaker with a higher rated current is required. This is a battery exhaust fan control box on the left of the panel. It can control the starting and stopping of the exhaust fan. The fan will rotate clockwise when the exhaust fan is running, indicating that exhaust is being performed. This is the introduction of DC 24 volt panel.